Hello and welcome back to another series of Divinity Original Sins 2, the Definitive Edition. My name is Saiken and we're playing on Honor Mode plus difficulty, highest difficulty, and we're upgrading the enemy level to match ours plus two additional levels. This year uh, the fight against Radica the Witch is going to be one of uh, the most intense battles. We uh, were on the world map moving into uh, the evil looking cave and at its end just bypassing a couple of traps you will find Radhika. Radhika is not to be trusted she's quite a witch and you're going to see exactly what I mean in just a few moments so we have set ourselves up for success over here I am fully anticipating that we might be one shot by a lot of her abilities and the abilities of her companions. So let's buff up and take our champion and then directly initiate combat. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Level up, level up, level up, level up. So we're all of a sudden fighting against way more enemies than just Radika the Witch. One of her most annoying abilities is just to act um, first and fast. So you can see she got the first turn and then another turn right afterwards. So if we're looking at the enemies, we do have uh, Radika here. Solidly taking over uh, Seville, which luckily uh, we can break the charm, but that's a bummer right there. And Shackles of Pain are even worse. I absolutely hate that spell, so every single point of damage that we're dealing to Radica is also being done to uh, Sibyl. Sibyl's uh, Break the Shackle spell would be the perfect counter here. Let's take a look at what we're fighting against. So, uh, Radica, um, Spellcaster, level 13, uh, super fast, and a thousand uh, in each of uh, the armors, plus almost 2,000 hit points. In each of the beetles, I mean, just look at it. Um, a thousand hit points. These bloody corpses here are a problem as well. Not only did they get uh, substantially buffed, uh, Sparkmaster, Firebrand, so they will hit for a ton. It's even worse than that. Uh, they create or they deal um, disease, so uh, you cannot heal after they hit you. A uh, good part about them is they are rather low on armor, so we should be fine. One, two, three beetles, four corpses, and Radeka. This is gonna suck. As for lows, uh, let's see. We don't have the clear mind scroll anymore. See, whenever you need the scrolls, you do not have them. That is truly unfortunate. We need clear mind in order to counter uh, the uh, the charm. Good. Let's do the second best uh, then, which is making sure that Radica is definitely out of uh, range. Let's also make sure that we can move up to here. All right. Still don't have clear mind, which is a bummer. What are we going to do with uh, Seville? I'm thinking. Q. 
Can we craft one real quick? That would be hilarious. No, we can't. So we could... You know what? One of the things that we actually can do is the following. Let's move far enough away so we're out of combat. It's a little bit lame, but whatever. Get the clear mind. He joins at the end of the turn. Which means if we could sleep her for one turn, there we go, that'll take care of most of our problems. Both of these guys here are causing a serious issue. Unfortunately, we can't jump down. That is a that is a bit of a bummer. But let's try to get their magical armor and their physical armor down as far as possible. So that's one down. I think both of them can deal with the Incarnate Champion. Yes, plenty of armor. Hasting ourselves. Moving up over here. Now nah, we can't uh, do that yet. Yeah, that uh, costed us a lot of momentum. The whole, uh, the whole charm and uh, taking Sibyl out for one round. Is there anyone without magical armor at this point? No, not yet. Hmm. You know what? I'm thinking about delaying. But we also need to stand our ground here. It's probably not the best idea. Instead, let's buff everyone. We're going to switch the entire uh, floor into poison. Just a moment.
Let's move a bit further over here. Yeah, it's a, a bit further over here. It's kind of a double-edged sword to move back because now they are in range of one another for uh, and susceptible, uh, susceptible for AOE attacks on the, on, the, on the other turn. I can also deal with both of them at the same time. Good. Moving on, uh, let's take away all of his physical armor. It's almost done. Putting a Bone Widow there helps. Now, time to change the whole game. There we go, poison. For the undeads, that's good, because uh, they like poison. But they won't like it just in a second. Wait for it. What we definitely can do is we can place. Much uh, they do have still too uh, too much armor. What we can take uh, can do is place oil on the ground. There we go, nice. Okay, next up we can throw dirt at them, which essentially will take away all of their um, all of their melee attack abilities. So let's continue taking away their armor. This one is completely out of physical armor. Good. Very good. I'm thinking... I guess we're ready. We're healing ourselves. I would like to take the high ground, but it's unfortunately not feasible. That's one. And that is the explosion we were looking for. Well, thanks to the um, to the chain to continue to heal ourselves. Nice little necro fire everywhere. Did I really just kill myself because we were... Have we been po uh, diseased? Are you kidding me? Okay, that was stupid. Funny, but stupid at the same time. I did not notice uh, that we had a disease on us. Let's check what exactly happened. Yeah, so... Sibyl was hit for 400 and... 35 damage 
Not exactly sure why, because I would need to look it up, but I was under the impression she did not. She did not uh, have a disease on on her. Well, doesn't matter now. It is what it is. Good. Carrion Beetle. Carrion Beetle is out of physical armor. Gotta be careful with Lowe's here, she takes a lot of damage. So there are a couple of positives, i.e. enemy takes uh, an incredible amount of damage. Okay, I think we're going to shortly take her out of combat. There we go. All right. Let's see. By the way, we had a piece of mind scroll. Where exactly was it? Ah, in her bag. My bad. Should have had uh, used uh, that right away. That's exactly what I was looking for. Right, she rejoined the battle. Now it's Lowe's uh, turn. It's pretty much caught in between a rock and a hard place. We gotta heal up. That's number one. And we're resummoning the incarnate champion. May need to have a better position there. That was a solid hit. All right, shooting him over there. Perfect. Let us start with nuking all of them. So, this. Plus this. Oh, very solid damage.
Good. So... Nose needs help. But she currently is diseased, so... We can't just... Let that happen. What we can do, though, is... Let's take her and move her out of line of sight. I mean, yes, she loses some uh, hit points, but definitely not as bad as standing there. He still has too much armor. I think I can't deal with him. I wanted to chicken him, but ah, that's not a it's not a viable option. Instead, let's heal everyone. Lowe's gets a bit, little bit healing back. The Incarnate unfortunately dies. If we would have kept the old one, he definitely had more armor and was fully buffed up. But that's okay, the new one dealt a lot of damage. So that was fine. Lowe's is no longer diseased. So we can heal her, which is helpful. And that bloody corpse, we can definitely kill him. Radhika is halfway down. It certainly doesn't help that there aren't any... Uh, incarnates anymore so she has so, sort of free reign this here should bring us out of combat Again, probably not the most honorable way of doing it. But I need the cooldown back. There are other ways of getting the cooldown back. For instance, simply having a scroll of summon uh, uh, or conjure incarnate. That way you don't have to wait. So, this is a bit cheesy, but it's not entirely um, impossible to do that <clears throat> with normal scrolls. I'm just too lazy to camp all of the uh, merchants to get those scrolls. Good. Whilst we're at it, let's buff up Sibyl just a bit. I think we can do that with the Incarnate as well. By that point, the Incarnate with all of his armor might be one of our strongest contenders. 
Like, look at that, fully buffed. He's rocking 700 in both cases. That's pretty decent. Just waiting until the cooldowns are down and then we can rejoin the combat. Good. I think we're going to move just ever so slightly back. So I can make sure that he's going to survive, so <clears throat> magic shell and uh, fortification. So we got half of them down. Mostly the beetles are causing an issue. There we go, one down. Seville moves up. Seville moves up all the way up to here. Good. So, apparently our incarnate did die. Might as well resummon a new one. I thought we had him in combat, but obviously we did not. that. She's still 50-50. But we'll get to her eventually. Let's move up. We're first and foremost strengthening the incarnate. Secondly, we're going to buff it because I wanted to go in with no regrets. Ivan on the other side has a lot of regrets. He took Pretty high amount of damage. So we're just healing for now.
Hmm. Let's move over to here. This here kills one of them. There we go. One, two, and three. Incarnate seems to be one of the few I can even move through the necro fire uh, due to its immunity to fire that can even like maneuver this uh, area here without being completely and ridiculously damaged like it's dealing what 45 per hit this guy just killed himself She seems to be quite uh, immune to fire. She only takes 13. Interesting. This here is regaining health, everybody. No, no. Oh, damn. I misclicked the healing. Okay. Never mind, we got a scroll. There we go, all good. Ethan. Moves up. Jump behind the enemy and... You know, it's not bad to clear some of the area. This here is now free of Necrofire. Very good. So let's deal some damage to this poor little uh, beetle over here. Jumping all the way over here. All right, one, two, Did we just heal ourselves? She wasn't even... Oh, decaying. Damn, how could I have missed that? Stupid. Good, so we're moving up here. Oh. 
We're chickening the beetle. And a bit of extra damage. Now that the chicken runs, it'll take extra necrofire damage. Apparently it decided to not do that anymore. Can't reach the chicken. How is this even possible? Okay, so let's take some extra fire damage onto our arrows. That's one shot. No! Oh my gosh, we almost killed ourselves. I misclicked. We're still decaying, which is a bummer. Yeah, we're just going to leave it as is. Far enough away so that she can't reach us. Yeah, we can't, we can't just uh, eradicate the necrofire. It's not dousable with common rain. Creates a bit of smoke, but that's about it. A lot of steam. Good, we're still decaying for whatever reason. Can't jump somewhere and we're taking additional damage, so what's really our option? You know what we could do is drink potions to make it less problematic. He's still decaying. Did I just fireball myself? Oh, this is, that is blatantly stupid. She finally got hit. Which means now with throw dirt, she's going to be blind. And blind means she can't uh, target anyone, at least not at range. We can't move through the fire because it's going to deal way too much damage. So instead, we're going to levitate to minimize the damage.
There we go. Spider won't even be able to make it anywhere close there. It would simply die. She charmed the incarnate, which is neat. It's not gonna help her. Shouldn't have fortified her because now I can't teleport her. I was about to suggest switching her with the Bone Widow and then fortifying her. Well, it's always an option to play a better version of your turn, I suppose. Sibyl finally is no longer decaying. So that's a little bit help. That's more. I mean, we can't let her move through the Necrofire, that would be stupid. So we're simply going to wait one more turn. In the meantime, she can haste those. Yeah, that's pretty sensible. Okay. Perfect, Radeka takes a lot of damage. Alright, the Incarnate sleeps a little bit. Could have also clear minded, but it's fine. Let's deflect her attacks and encourage everyone. Can't pass. By uh, Ifan, so the spider just waits. She certainly has strong magic, without a shadow of a doubt. Let's heal Ethan. And Lose uh, continues to resummon. Old summoning almost went down. The fire here is a double-edged sword, as you can see. On the one hand, it definitely helps us with um, not having any problem uh, with positioning. Oh. 
On the other hand, it prevents us from moving closer with our own characters. Give ourselves just a tiny bit of uh, ma magical armor. Moving over here. And this basically took her physical armor out. Now we can crowd control her and that should have been it. The shackles of pain are annoying for three rounds, but we will find a way to deal with it. Switching Sibyl out. And giving Psyche and some more armor. She's knocked down. Let's keep it like that for now. Sibyl takes a lot of damage. Yeah, that will deal too much damage to Sibyl. Mm. Healing up. I really want to hit her, but I can't. Not without hitting Sibyl. Yeah, we're even waiting now. So, Sibyl, still decaying. It's an issue we can't heal ourselves. So, you know, at that point, God damn it. She took another point of burning damage. Okay, at least we can finish finish her now. Getting incredibly annoyed by Radica the Witch.
There we go. So Ethan, move here. Seems we can crowd control her with a charge. So let's just put her to sleep. Damn, that combat takes longer than expected. Good, finally she's in chicken form, and that should have been it. There we go. Good job. Guys, could you stop running through? Oh my gosh. They almost killed themselves by just running through the necrofire. Unbelievable. Good. It was a harder combat than I would have expected. Let's see if it was worth it. So far, just a little bit of cash loot. <clears throat> this here could have been good. Let's see about her loot. Oh, well, that is pretty damn good. Holy hand grenade. Uh, yes, please. It's a nice little healing device. Yeah, I think it I think we've got some really decent loot out of it. So first things first, I think this here can be combined with an empty vial. Yeah, there we go. Boosts uh, every stat plus one until the character dies. Which let's give it to Lowe's because she really needs it and she really seldomly dies. There we go. So we could reset her. Soon we're going to identify everything. Let me just shortly loot the rest of the escape. I think that has been it. 
Yeah, there wasn't too much else. Good, time for some identification. Let us start. This here is obvious. Two int and one hydro. I like the crit chance. That is absolutely good. The lifesteal is also not too bad. There we go. This is by no means a bad one. Might as well be able to use it a bit later. Boots. Solid boots for sneaking and movement. Just overall an upgrade to those boots. As always, when you start having new boots, immediately combine them with a pair of nails. There you go. So Ifan <coughs> is closing on on uh, 400 armor. This here could be huge. Huntsman and Summoning, Finesse and Wits. Yeah, that is a pretty significant upgrade. Plus it is also incredibly good looking. Wow. Finesse, hit points, accuracy, lifesteal. I mean, look at that. Before we combine it though, uh, before we upgrade it though, let's poison it. Which means he's now almost hitting for 100. That's good. Strength, Geomancer, and Leadership. Yeah, overall that is simply better. I mean, the Leadership certainly would work for her as well. But that's fine. Necromancer, Geomancer. Damn, good items. I'm going to do my usual round before we end the video. Let me talk you through what we're going to do. That has been uh, the second last video because uh, in the last video we're simply going to take on the last battle which is essentially going up here and fighting against uh, the forces that are responsible for all of uh, this uprising. And then this series is going to probably end because most people are interested in act number one, unless, of course, you definitely want to continue seeing this uh, series, in which case, yep, feel free to leave a comment down below if enough people are voting for it. I'm going to say that in the last episode uh, as well, but if enough people are going to uh, vote for it, we will be um, having a follow-up. This here, by the way, Tremor Grenade, super good, so it's knocked down for one turn. So that's an AOE knockdown ability. Very, very, very valuable. All right, that has been it. Thanks so much for watching. As always, you know the YouTube drill. Uh, leave a comment down below um, or a like. See ya in the next run. Bye bye.